The Beauty Girls Mom Show is filmed in front of a live puppy audience. <laughs> Hi, Harper. Hello. This is your moment in the spotlight, your 15 minutes of fame. Hi, I'm Anna from BeautyGirlsMom.com. Wait, 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 wait. How many days till Christmas? 159. 159. 159 days till Christmas. Oh my. We gotta put this back where it belongs, front and center. <laughs> <sighs> are we going to Disney for Christmas this year? We are going to Disney for Christmas this year. <sighs> are we going to see the Candlelight Processional this year? Very interesting. Um, we is there a um, Disney? Is it, is it called Disney's Candlelight Processional? It's or just it's a Candlelight Processional. Candlelight Processional 2015. Is there one this year? There absolutely is. It begins. Um, oh no, no, you're wrong. There are two. There are two. And one's in California, and one's in Florida. Mm. Uh. It begins at Disney World on uh, November the 27th, and it goes through December 30th. So Thanksgiving weekend is when it starts, and it ends the night before New Year's Eve. Which day is Neil Patrick Harris, so we know which way to go. Neil Patrick Harris, how did you know he was there? November the 30th through December the 3rd. And which deal is Senor Edward James Almos? Muy and excelente. Almos is December the 24th through the 26th. That is an excellent time to go. If you are not religious and you don't speak Spanish, <laughs> now's your time to practice. Practice on your Espanol and go. It is well worth attending. The Candlelight Processional, the presenter, makes a huge difference in adding to the event. Yeah. It doesn't distract unless it's that Rita, Rita Moreno. Moreno. Boo. But well worth going. I have never seen a bad uh, narrator at the Candlelight Processional. You do not like Except someone. for Rita Moreno. <laughs> Moreno. See? <laughs> you, you do not like somebody that comes with their own agenda. There have not been a lot of celebrities announced. As you know, I do not have my own agenda, and I don't force it on other people. Um, not a lot of celebrity. Anyhow, for people that don't know or haven't Where seen any of our chair? videos. Where's my chair? I don't know. Where what did you chair? do with my chair? I don't know. Ugh. Why are you not sitting? Because you took my chair and did something with it. <laughs> I didn't think you People chair. are asking, where's his, where's his chair? Um, for people that are not familiar with the candlelight or haven't seen any of our other videos, it is a um, presentation that occurs during the Christmas season every year at Epcot, the American Adventure uh, Pavilion, the American Gardens Theater, I meant to say. Could you get your chair? No, just keep going. Um, there are three shows. Um, We're five minutes into a 50 minute video. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> three shows most evenings um, it is included with your theme park ticket so if you purchase a ticket to Epcot you can absolutely attend the candlelight processional highly recommend doing one of the dinner packages though because that will guarantee you admission to the theater here's the danger of Epcot you are not guaranteed to get into Epcot that day so you do need to plan especially on days like Christmas well yeah plan. You, you'll get into Epcot unless it is you know, Christmas week, you might have some difficulty getting into the theme park. In which case, you should use our best advice about what time of the day should you get to a park? Rope drop. Rope drop. Rope drop. Rope drop. Rope drop. Yes. Um, but, yeah, the admission to the show is included with your theme park ticket. However... Just for the record, when we say rope drop, I was going to ring a bell, but somebody would not let me buy We the... are getting in the car right after this video and going to the Christmas tree shop to get you that bell. See? The bell came from the Christmas tree shop. It all fits together. It all fits together. Yep. I will never hear the end of this stupid bell. Rope drop. Bang, bang, bang. You want that on all your videos from this point forward. Anyhow, if you're going, um, especially Christmas week, when it's busier, when there's a very popular um, narrator like Neil Patrick Harris, um, the theater Senor does. Edward James almost. The theater does get crowded. We have seen people waiting for the five o'clock performance from twelve in the afternoon in the standby line. Just you're going to eat dinner anyway. Highly recommend doing the dinner packages. I'm standing. You can stand in the background and see the performance. It's a you long show. You can hear it, if nothing it's, else. It, you're going to hear it. It's much nicer to be able to sit, get close to the orchestra, get close to the singers, um, see uh, uh, the father from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He's passed away. Yes, but he did. You're not going to see him this year or any other year. But he not was. Even Magic but he Disney. was dancing. He was very. He was into the performance. James Avery. He yeah. was phenomenal. And we have seen some very phenomenal um, performers. We saw one year. Um, 
uh, oh my God, is it James O'Hurley from um, Mr. Peterman? Yeah, Mr. Peterman from Seinfeld. Um, he was he was good as a narrator, but most of the time they end with like their own little personal message. His wife was literally days from giving birth when we saw it. It was a very emotional, you know, he, he really embraced the spirit of the holiday season, even from a non-Christian standpoint. He was just, he was very emotional, very moved by the performance, you know, very moved by the choir. It was just, he was really good. John O'Hurley, not James, John O'Hurley. I was thinking James Avery. Um, so the narrator, you know, you, you have the Avery opportunity. Brooks. I don't even know who Avery Brooks is. I'm just making up. Isn't that? You're just coming ma- up Yeah. No, he's from Star Trek. He actually is New Jersey and a Rutgers teacher. <laughs> Sorry. And a accomplished um, piano So player. far confirmed for this year. And I, I say confirmed because Disney has released their names. Something could always change. Um, right now we have Amy Grant will be performing. You have been forewarned be that names do change. Do not book your entire vacation and then complain when your favorite narrator is not there. You're not going just for the narrator. You're going for the entire experience of the candlelight performance. And it is. I get goosebumps. We have attended this with people it. who are not religious. We've attended it with people who are, Jewish. are Christian, Jewish. Um, it, it's just a great show. It's a great it, performance. It um, confirmed this year. Again, there aren't very many celebrities announced as of yet. Neil Patrick Harris, Whoopi Goldberg, Joe Morton, Meredith Vieira, Edward James Olmos, and Amy Grant. So there's still a lot of dates where the You know, we've seen Whoopi Goldberg, but I can't remember anything about her performance. I don't remember seeing Whoopi Goldberg. So We've I'm, seen her, but I just don't remember anything about it. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Um, the meal, the way the meal... Uh, dinner package works is you have to eat prior to your show so if you want to go to like the five o'clock show you will be eating lunch yeah like a one um, o'clock lunch 12 yeah lunch. lunch packages start at uh thir- about 35 dollars per person for adults about 19 dollars for children um and it varies based on which restaurant you choose not all of the restaurants at epcot do participate um, some of the least expensive restaurants uh beer garden in germany 35 dollars for lunch um, ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy oi 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 uh, Nine Dragons is $39.99 Restaurant Marrakesh $39.99 um, and then you have the opposite end of the spectrum um, Lunch at the Coral Reef I love it when she doesn't read it Lunch at the Coral Reef is $56 here's the dad's take Chef on this Chef de France $60 so the packages do vary in price um, your favorite restaurant may not be participating. There is a limited number of restaurants, and there is a limited number of packages sold. The dad's take is don't say nothing. No, here's the dad's take. You want to book a <laughs> reservation because if you, you turn it into a wonderful sit and dine sort of thing. And Yeah, we've always done. If you have a dining reservation. Dinner and show. If you have a dinner reservation now for an Epcot restaurant, and it is not specifically a candlelight reservation, people ask me this all the time. Well, I have a restaurant reservation at Rosen Crown. Can I just... When I get there, tell them I want to go to the candlelight. You can No, no, no. Your reservation cannot be converted to a candlelight package. You have to call in advance and book those packages. Because they have a limited number of tickets, because they have reserved seating. Your candlelight gets you into your your when you when you pay for your dinner, they hand you little stickers to put on. Mm-hmm. And the stickers give you reserved seat. I might be completely head gone in this. I'm like the the Halloween horn. I don't know where the camera profile is on this. Um, Are we gonna have to redo this whole video? No. No, because in editing, I'll post it and you won't even know. <laughs> magic of video. Yes, the magic. Um, so you get reserved seating, but it's not... Well, you don't get reserved seating, you get guaranteed seating. Guaranteed seating, yeah. It's like you don't get seat five in row 12. No, you get, you're just guaranteed a seat in the theater if you book the dining. Which is a good point to bring up. These aren't seats, this is a bench. It's a bench. Yeah, so, you know, be prepared. And it's still first come, first serve. And if you buy the dinner package and you don't show up until five minutes after the show has started, they've already let standby people in. You won't get a seat in the theater. Yeah, then the standby people are waiting for those seats. And you will be sitting up close the and entire the time. Like you. Because they encourage people in the spirit of the season, squeeze Slide in over. so everyone can see the show. Slide over. Yeah. Okay. All right. So tickets are... Um, Available now. If you want to purchase the dinner packages, you can just call 407. Well, technically, technically tickets aren't available. You buy, you're just booking a reservation. You're making your reservation. You do not pay yeah. for the reservation until you actually go to the restaurant. You do have to guarantee it with a credit card. Guarantee it with a credit card, but you won't be paying the, for the full meal until you actually go to Epcot and enjoy your meal. There is a cancellation penalty, a cancellation but penalty. read into that. You know, don't think about last minute bailing. Don't book for 20 
you know, that sort of thing. You know, plan for your party. Plan for your party. I am Anna from BeautyGirlsMom.com. I'm Jim from Left Wing Libertarian, and I'll see you real soon while I'm out looking for a chair.